welcome to the show. I'm Ridhu Bhandari. And I'm Mangalam Malu. You know us and you're watching us here on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023, a national education and innovation competition. Well, Ridhu, we're halfway through the show and there is one thing that I've learned. What is that? That our future is in safe hands. That I know for sure. Absolutely, it really is in safe hands, Mangalam. And uh, we set out a few months ago to find the top 10 solvers of Young India after journeying through India, multiple rounds of competition and spending time with leading innovators. Here we are with some of the brightest minds in the country. Absolutely, brightest indeed. We've witnessed some brilliant ideas in the mix and today is no different. So, let's bring on our two teams for today. Yes, first up we have Team Teg from Bengaluru. They are working on a solution that's very close to my heart. Abhinav and Mithun's idea takes food waste and converts it into clean biofuel. We understood that the people who can't afford LPG right now need an alternative source or a solution. So we came up with this biogas plant that is cheap and affordable but maintains commercial quality. The main reason we came up with this idea is to address the problem with affordability. The rural areas and communities that exist in our country can't mainly afford this LPG cooking gas. So we had to come up with something that's affordable while making sure that it doesn't harm the environment the same way LPG does. Well, as a high school student, I was always wondering, am I going beyond my capabilities? Am I doing something that's not possible? Well, when I met my teammate and under the guidance of my parents, I realized that it's not like I'm not doing something extraordinary. It's something that needs to be done to help the community. Our main idea here is to take waste products and convert them into clean and affordable energy such as biofuel. So when it came up first with the idea, we were quite excited about it. It was a big project. But naturally, of course, we expected it to be a tough journey. And yeah, it was really difficult. But in the end, we were both able to uh, like convince each other of our perspectives. Initially, he wanted to do something differently, and I wanted to do something differently. And I believe that's what enabled us to get, be successful. And yeah, we were successful on the journey, and it's a lot of fun. As a father, uh, we had uh, hoped that Mithun uh, is going to be successful in life. And uh, for it, we had taught him to be punctual, hardworking, and open to the ideas. And today we are really proud and uh, with our support he has been in the right direction and achieving great things. It has tremendously given me a lot of confidence and that will seriously help me in my future endeavors when I pursue anything. This event that I did in my teenagers, I'm pretty sure it will help me tremendously when I go for any future work. And our second team for today is NIT Surat, they've come up with a super solution for clean beaches. Who doesn't like that? It detects, collects and also segregates waste. Here with their robot Sweep are Aditi, Harshil and Webhub. We love beaches and I guess everybody loves to visit beaches. But who wants to be there if they are unclean? We went to beach one day and were taken aback by the conditions of it. It was littered with garbage all over. We came back but couldn't get the sight out of our heads. How could we let something like this happen to our lovely beaches? So what could we do to restore it? And who could be better in finding solution than us, engineers? We all love to visit beaches with our friends and family, but we as humans have failed to keep them clean. We thought of doing something. So, with the help of technology and robotics, we came up with the idea, Sweep. They are so much dedicated about making this robot to be actually in the final prototype mode. And ultimate goal is what? We can give our best prototype to the Indian country so that same thing can be work for as a beach cleaning to be Indian beaches. The main challenge was the cost and research work which requires a significant amount of money and expertise. Employing a determined group for strategy, we basically applied various solutions, ultimately piecing the puzzle together and achieving success. 
What I feel about Swip is its unique ability to clean bridges effectively by not only collecting the waste but also segregating it and disposing it makes it a game changer. We want a sweep to sweep all the garbage so the coming generation will see a clean and beautiful world. Welcome to the show guys. Well, uh, you know, what did each of you bring to the table but more importantly, what does TEG stand for? Well, TEG stands for the Energy Group and since I came up with this idea, I took over the business, operations, human resources and the design aspects of the bra and I went on to meet Abhinav. And then I uh, tried to do research on how to make the idea feasible, how can you build a product and a chemistry behind it. So how are you addressing the safety aspect around your uh, innovation? Currently we are following the industry standard requirements, but since we use waste materials, we have certain safety requirements that are unique to us. So we are working on those and we are trying to make our product as safe as possible and as convenient as possible for our customers. So your biogas plant is made from waste materials. The question is, is it scalable? Right now, there are millions of parts that we use that are disposed of every year in our country. And there are thousands of junkyards that collect these parts. So right now, we are partnered with a junkyard that is near our school, which provides us with the needed materials. And we're also in talks to partner with other junkyards so we can scale our solution and we can explore the pan-India customer base. Wow, that's uh, interesting indeed and impressive. Wish you good luck, guys. And now we move on to Team NIT from Surat. Yes, welcome to the show, guys. So you have a beach cleaning robot called Sweep. Does it displace the beach sand? Uh, basically, our robot has starting a collection mechanism. So the claws which uh, are used to collect the garbage uh, has a sieve on it. So maximum sands are removed from at the collection time only. Adding to that, uh, we have a vibration mechanism that basically separates sands from the collected waste and returns it to the ground. And also, hence, we are beach erosion ki problem ko bhi cater kar rahe aur saath mein hum log ye bhi ensure kar rahe ki minimum sand displace ho. This is pretty exciting, you know, clean beaches. But can it be used in different areas as well? Yeah. So, abhi humne hamara first prototype build kara hai. To usme basically humne target kara hai ki hum sirf sandy beaches ko like main humne focus kara hai. Now, hum log agar ye pura successful hota hai, will focus on catering more terrains as well. Very, very exciting. So in this strategy, we basically fine-tune each and every mechanism according to its utility in different areas. Okay, that's very interesting. So tell us, in future, is your uh, invention going to replace jobs? How do you feel about that? Yeah, obviously, whenever a new solution comes, it replaces the already existing solution, whether it is a telephone or a typewriter. So, but uh, while uh, removing jobs are uh, happening, we are also getting a uh, providing job opportunities at operational basis, maintenance basis and the manufacturing process. Right. Embracing automation leads to new avenues in the tech world. All right, you're at a great starting point, NIT Surat, all the very best. Well, we've learnt a little bit about our solvers, but it's time to know more about their solutions. That's coming up right after a short break on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. Hello everyone, we are back with Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023, a national education and innovation competition. We will now invite teams TEG and NIT Surat to tell us in detail how their ideas would function in real world scenarios. But first, let's introduce their mentors who are joining us here, but remotely. Team TEG's Solve for Tomorrow mentor is Vikas Chopra from Interaction Design at Samsung. He seems to be a strict judge, but is a cool friend to the solvers. He's looking for ideas that are locally inspired and globally desired. And the mentor to Team NIT Surat is Dr. Sukhdeep Singh from Advanced Communication Innovation at Samsung. He's a researcher and an academic, and ideas on sustainability feel most important to him. Thanks for joining us, mentors. Good to have you with us. Hi, Mangalam. Hi, Mridu. Thanks for having me. Hi Ridu, hi Mangalam. Equally glad to uh, be part of uh, Solve for Tomorrow here. And now we are really ready to hear from the teams. It's your turn first, Team Tech. Their solution turns food waste into fuel. So tell us more about it, Team Tech. Our product Tech aims to cater to the small scale households of India. Currently, the rural population of India does not have access to any sort of conventional cooking source of fuel. So what we are trying to do is provide them with an affordable solution that also caters to the environment and gives them a source of energy that they can use for their needs. So what are we trying to address here? So we're actually trying to address two issues here. First is, we're trying to provide households with clean, affordable energy. And the second issue that we're addressing is, 
to provide a, a solution for improper waste disposition system. So what you're doing is quite simple here. Households will have their own biogas plants, and in those plants, they can put their organic food waste that they produce every day. And that organic food waste, so a series of chemical reactions, we can be formulated into a fuel that is same as LPG and can be used for your cooking purposes. So basically, the food that is wasted in your house turns into gas with which you can again make your food. So that's yeah. an incredible circular economy there. Let's see what your mentors think about it. Vikas, uh, what do you like best about Team Tech? These guys are amazing. So they are trying to redefine the how we see natural energy, right? So they are, everybody talks about natural gas or sustainability. These guys are bringing that to household and that to utilizing waste materials. It is, it is so beautiful, it is so novel. Right, absolutely. So tell us then, how would you like to see the idea grow in future? Their idea is wonderful, but they should also focus on the other aspect, how to make it practical. They might need many certifications to make it reality. They should focus there also. Let's hope they do get their focus there. And your message to the team, Vikas? Your idea has potential, just stick to it. All the best to you guys. All the best to you guys. That's sane advice and a good wish coming in from your cool friend, Team Teg. Let's call on NIT Surat. They're using robotics and artificial intelligence to identify and remove waste from beaches. Well, I'm excited. Tell us a little more about your innovation. How does it work? As beach lovers, we find joy and peace on beaches. And they are a beautiful escape from the busy schedules. But we are treated with waste and debris that destroy the very landscapes we admire. Our mission is to clean the environment and uh, contribute to the growing beach tourism industry. Introducing Sweep, Sand Waste Elimination and Environmental Protection, an innovative beach cleaning solution. Sweep moves with intelligence, efficiently covering beach area while collecting debris and isolating sand from it. It is equipped with advanced technologies that has waste sorting system which segregates plastic from non-plastic materials. It is also assisted by a user-friendly web GUI which ensures effortless operations for users. Currently, in the prototyping phase, we are focus focusing on advancing these technologies and also designing it more efficiently. With Sweep, our vision is to use tomorrow's technology to clean today's litter and contribute for beach cleaning purposes. All right, so great idea and uh, look forward to seeing that robot in action. And uh, let's get the mentors feedback then. Well, we have Sukhdeep joining us. Sukhdeep, you heard your team's idea. You've been mentoring them. Tell us a little bit about what really stands out for you in their idea. So, uh, as you know, these days companies are building their products, keeping environment also in their mind, right? So, uh, I would say that this idea resonates with that, uh, you know, that ideology of uh, going uh, environmental friendly. So, they are trying to, uh, you know, attack the problem of uh, segregating the collecting and segregating the waste, plastic waste from the beach and going uh, more eco-friendly. It's an incredible idea and good support coming in from you, Sukhdeep, as well. But are there any blind spots they can address before going into the finale? So, uh, as of now, uh, I, I, I would recommend them to check the uh, strength of the material for the collection and the segregation so that it, it's proper, so that when, when they, uh, you know, pitch that in the finale, it should work out. Plus, they should also uh, see that they are able to properly segregate all the material. And they have to know all the materials which they have to segregate without disturbing the biodiversity of the beach. Okay, so that is my strong feedback to them. Okay, and plus they should focus on uh, one particular product with one particular solution rather than the sub-products or the sub-solution. Okay, so that's great advice from Sukhdeep. But uh, any final words of encouragement you want to leave the team with today? Harshil, Aditi and Weber, your idea is fabulous and it's very eco-friendly. And I, I'm, I'm very sure that it will be loved by the jury members. Okay, and it's very sustainable. So let's rock the stage with your rocking idea. Team, NIT Surat, look at your innovation from all the angles. That's the message from your mentor, Sukhdeep. I'm sure you're going to find that feedback super useful. And while they take a minute to think things over, we're going to head into a short break right now. On the other side, we'll take a little breather and have a little fun.
You don't want to miss that. So keep watching Samsung Solve for tomorrow, 2023. We'll be back shortly. You're watching us here on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. Now, the teams have gone through the tough bit. We can all now sit back and have some fun with our segment Solve for Today. So, solvers, we are going to ask you some fun questions and we are looking for funny responses. <laughs> there are no prizes, but we promise to applause and give you a few laughs if you give us funny responses. So, Team Tech, shall we start with you first? Your funniest response gets the loudest applause, all right? Okay. By the way, which of you is a bad texter? Well, it's definitely up enough. Well, I'll admit that uh, my friends do have a hard time communicating with me and they do complain a lot because I'm a bit of a dry texter and every time they try to talk to me, I just say, okay, oh, yeah, that's it. And yeah, they complain a lot to me. So I think I'm the one. The one time that he, like, you know, sends a good text or something, it's probably not him. It's five other guys sitting around him <laughs> advising him to send the message. So that's mostly the case. Or AI replying on his phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can use that. Can you do an impression of your teammate? Well, Abhinav is always, you know, a serious person in a chill environment. So he's always trying to maintain a professional decorum with everyone. So he's always standing straight like an army officer talking to you <laughs> with all respect. But yeah, that's mostly how this guy is. Okay, so he's the serious one. And uh, well, Mithun claims he's the chill one. So tell us uh, something about him. Uh, every morning when I wake up, I just see him go, like going through social media every morning. I, it's quite annoying. I just wake up, I hear sounds and everything. It's like it's not how social can... media. It's actually I'm checking the email, you know, for information. Oh, I never knew email made sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's a whole lot of fun that these guys uh, have while they are innovating for their solutions as well. But uh, to Team NIT Surat, uh, what about you? Who among you is a good actor? And she's the cute one though. She's like, ah, me to bahut pyari hu and etc. All that. I'm sure she doesn't talk like that. Do you? No. What do you say? <laughs> she talks like, arey me to op hu. Whenever she finds a solution. And uh, what funny username do you have for your games? And do you have a funny password for Wi-Fi? Ah, bhai ka password, hotspot ka jo password hai, wahi password hai. Okay, so who has the best excuses amongst you? He lives in home, so like, जब भी classes है, he used to say कि I use like professor को कहेगा कि मैं public transport से आता हूँ, so मैं बहुत late हो जाता हूँ. But actually अपने personal two wheeler से आता है और सिर्फ तीन मिनट दूर है. Okay, well, अब professors को पता है कि ये personal two wheeler पे आता है. Change करना पड़ेगा. अब अब नया excuse बनाएंगे. आपका excuse और इनका password दोनों change करना पड़ेगा. Well, with that, we come to the end of today's episode. But if you want to watch the real competition unfold, you must tune in to the grand finale. That's just a few weeks away. And our top 10 teams will be competing against one another. Only three of them will come out on top as the final winners. But till then, we will have two more sets of solvers with us every week. See you next time on Samsung Solve for Tomorrow 2023. Thank you for watching. Four more brilliant teams to meet. Two of them are with us here today. We have made a wearable cooling device that will place your neck. There will be a blood vessel in there. It will be cold and it will be cold in your body. I have made a technology that will be cold in your body. It 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 will be cold in your body. Let's have a little fun now. कल मेरी मम्मी सोचती थी कि मेरा बेटा पढ़ने के बजाय ये सब क्या चीजें कर रहा है, इससे क्या सीख लेगा? And who among y'all sleeps last? I sleep at last and wake up mostly. Mukabir will wake up at early morning.